Hello everyone, welcome back to another session by K21 Academy and today our expert trainer will be discussing about how to do testing in CICD pipeline. So make sure you're watching the video till the end. Okay, so try to understand. The thing is testing is very, very important within AWS. Now in the general sense, if you remember, okay, when we were looking at the pipeline as a whole, code, then we have build, then, then we have test, then we have, uh, what else? We have provision, then we have deploy, and then we have uh, monitor. So these are the components that I have been telling you all along. Okay. And I have told you that yes, test is at this particular place. Testing is something that has to be every where for example you do the code you should test it after that you build the code you should test it you provision your resources you should test it you go for deployment or we call it release you test it okay so testing has to be there everywhere testing has to be there as a part of your entire pipeline. Okay. Interestingly enough, the testing uh, is so underestimated component. But I mean, as far as the pipelines that we have seen at least. But remember, in the real world, when you're going for testing, okay, it is considered to be an utmost priority. Okay, wherein it is assumed or it is expected that you should put your tests everywhere. If you don't do so, if you don't do so, what happens ultimately is a particular flaw, a particular bug, a particular uh, shortcoming within your code will, will be taken down to the end until deployment and then it becomes really difficult to tackle around that. But just to show you what are the different places or what are the different tests that we can carry out around this uh, process of our CI CD pipeline that we have learned. Okay, now if I just me, I'll just put our pipeline into some different phases. Okay, let us say this is the development phase. Thereafter, it goes to the build phase. Thereafter, it goes to the stage phase. And thereafter, it goes to the production stage. Okay, I've just written our pipeline in a, in a, in a, diff, in a bit a different way. Only the same things are there, but I've just written them in a different way. Okay, where uh, development, it is it is the it is a place of developer where he's carrying out the development. Build, okay, uh, you can think of that as build and test that we are talking about. Stage, this is particularly important. This are or this we refer to as pre-production stage, pre pre-prod, because just try to understand team. You don't want to deploy right away onto production. You should always have a pre-production stage. Pre-production means a replica of your production stage, exact replica of your production stage. Any error, if any problem, if any bug, if any inconsistency goes into production, ultimately who is suffering is your end user. And when the end user suffers, you know, the company suffers, the, 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 prof, the profit suffers, the revenue suffers. So you don't want that pre-production stage is entirely for that only wherein you will first of all understand the implications of your deployment. First of all, you will understand exactly how would the things go into production and then go for production. Okay, so if I want to attribute this particular two stages, these two, uh, you have development and build, we can attribute them to continuous integration like we have been always doing. And these two stages, the last two, okay, they can be attributed to like we have been always doing continuous delivery or deployment. Okay. Now, what are the kind of tests that should be aware of or that should happen at appropriate places? So I'll just call them out. First of all, at development, I'll just take the help of another pane for that. At the development, you can expect uh, some sort of unit tests. Also, you can expect some sort of uh, static code analysis at, at the build stage you can have uh, component testing 
you can also have some sort of integration testing. You can have some sort of, uh, let us say, regression testing at stage. And this is a, this is a particularly important because a lot of tests should be carried out at pre-production. Okay, because you don't want to take that bug or the flog into production. So many tests are carried out, carried out over here. For example, you can have a real system testing. You can have a performance testing. Then you can have some sort of load testing. You can have some sort of uh, mm -hmm, compliance testing. And you can even carry out uh, something like UAT. Uh, UAT stands for user acceptance testing. And at the end into production, you can go about carrying out some things like AV testing. And as well, you can have the canary as well, canary analysis. Okay, so these are some of the appropriate tests. Okay, those can be carried out at the various stages within your pipeline. Okay, now we don't want to get into very much of detail for that. Okay, but you should be aware of what are all these tests, tests and how they are so important as a part of CI CD pipeline. So guys, this was our expert from Team K21 Academy. And if in case you missed upon any concept, and if you want to dive deeper to any concept, then we have something really, really, really special for you. We have our free class on AWS DevOps for Beginners certification along with some demo. In this free class, you'll be learning about why learn DevOps and on AWS Cloud. What is AWS DevOps? Who should be learning about it? CICD pipelines. You'll be getting a demo. You'll also be getting some hands-on labs and job opportunities as well. So in order to register for this free class, all you have to do is just log on to k21academy.com forward slash AWS DevOps 02. And after that, you'll be seeing this kind of interface. You just have to click on book your free seat now and add your event state according to your availability, enter your name, your email address, your phone number, and click on yes, save my seat. Moving ahead, you'll be seeing this kind of URL on the extreme right. Save that URL, add it to your calendars, and I will see you in the free class. Till then, keep learning.